Hey everyone, this is Gary, the Renegade Dream Builder from The Body Electric. Today, I wanted to take a few moments to show you how I built this cold frame for $50. And obviously, I started with pallets, which you can get just about anywhere for free. I got these at a local hardware store. Really, almost any business will have pallets, and they will usually give them away just to get rid of them. When building a coal frame or anything really, it's a good idea to get as much of the material as you can for free. And I think the next part goes without saying, but always ask if you can have the material first. So it's most of the day, enlarging the garden, and we're getting ready to put a coal frame in. This is an apartment, so we have to be kind of careful what we do. But we just finished this walkway. Put this half in right here. And then we're going to build the coal frame up against the house. We'll have these pallets in the back. We'll actually grow in those. And then this will be all coal frame area here for winter crop. So as you can see, we're more than doubled the size of the garden. So next year should be a lot of fun. So we started by putting a 8 foot 2 by 4 between the clothesline posts and made sure that the ground was level, stacked the pallets up to see what it was going to look like, and then started cutting it into shape. And this was my basic shape. And then I remembered I had some screen doors that I had used, that I built for a restaurant, and they went out of business. When they went out of business, the new people took it over, didn't want them anymore. So I've been carrying these screen doors around for a couple of years. And you can see I've modified the shape to bring it up higher, because this is about letting light in. So I built that top section and then put the second screen door up there. And I adjusted the door some so that it would fit better on there. But you can see it's coming together pretty well. Inside it's about 7 feet by 5 feet. And this is where I, I could get the cardboard boxes for free. So I went down to the liquor store and just screwed them on. And uh, then I took some leaves because it was fall. And stuck leaves down in through all the pallets so it's somewhat insulated. And... It was uh, pretty easy to put together. And then I bought some spray paint and spray painted the outside and most of the inside just to keep the moisture from destroying the cardboard until I can find something for free to replace it that's more durable. So here's my footprint inside and I did wrap the whole inside of it in plastic also. And never having planted there before or no real clear understanding of how things are going to grow there I took a couple of mature kale plants out of our garden and transplanted them in the coal frame just to see what would happen. So as you can see, there's snow on the ground. We've had some days where it's been nights where it's been down in the teens, and the plants are looking fine. So I'm pretty happy with it since there's no heat in it. So if you'd like more detail about how I built this, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. But we're pretty excited to have this really our first year because we were so late in building it will be the 2014 growing season.